uh, the idea of this video is to give you a quick introduction to what form builder is and uh, using this tool how easily can you drag and drop and create a form um, this uh, feature is currently in beta so we are still developing it as we speak um, so we we'll just want to share uh, on our progress with respect to this feature uh, let's get started so uh, I've actually logged into Bumni. This is my home page and uh, wherein I can see many apps. There is a new app that you see here, which is called Implementer Interface. Uh, the idea of this Implementer Interface is to come up with a set of tools that will ease the implementation of Bumni. So we have started off with forms, but the idea is to come up with something like Report Builder, Page Builder in future. Uh, let's see what Form Builder is all about. So uh, using a form builder, uh, we can actually very easily create forms. Um, let's see how easy is it. So I'm starting off, let me call it uh, vitals2. This is a new form that we are creating. Okay, so this is the interface. Um, so these forms are actually used to capture some of the observations. Um, uh, like let's say we want to capture uh, systolic. So all I do is drag and drop the observation here. Uh, let me call it systolic, okay. Uh, and um, see this this systolic is a concept that's already there in the OpenMRS in this system and um, its data type is numeric so you can see that there is a numeric box that came up here um, and like let's say you want to capture something called um, you know uh, smoking history uh, so I would do smoking history here so if you see uh, it's a boolean data type so you can get an s and no here you can choose to make it a mandatory field so that you know um, a user has to capture it there's no other way and might be i would want to capture some chief complaints notes right so i will say chief complaint notes right and uh, might be i'll add some some more notes as well some additional notes as well that they want to add like just to just to make sure that you know they want to capture more details right and um, i would like to add additional information here like might be some notes to the doctor to the doctor or like uh, or or any clinician right and i'll go ahead save this form so now my form is ready so how do i use it now so all i have to do it do is like uh, go to the relevant uh, clinical page right of the patient so like let's say i take one of the, one of the patients here and uh, I go to the observations form. So there's a new tab called observations form now. So that, you know, that's uh, uh, pretty simple. Uh, like that's, that's separate so that, you know, we can figure out the difference. But in the final version, you can actually have, uh, you know, you'll have all the forms in the same observation tab. And I select vitals too. So if you see, I can enter 120 and uh, I can enter some, some chief complaints. And uh, smoking history is mandatory here, so we can choose to you know, select this and add some additional notes, right? And like, let's say if I don't enter this, you can see that the red bar there and you know, it will not allow you to save. Might be I can just uh, select this and click on save. So this is our new form. So uh, the idea is um, we are still in the development of this. So as of today, we support uh, Boolean data type, we support text boxes, we support uh, comments and all. Uh, the idea is to support ops groups, that support is coming very soon. Uh, and abnormal kind of observations, adding more of the same control. So that is also coming very soon. Uh, if you want to know more about this, this is the wiki. Uh, wiki detail, I'll keep that, um, like uh, paste this link in the YouTube uh, link there. So you can go, you can configure this form builder and try it out. Okay, so as I told, this is still in beta. This is not released yet. Um, you will see uh, more from us on the progress uh, like going forward. Thanks a lot. Hope this is helpful.